you know, they're the reader questions. The first one here for you is, if you could change one thing about the road transport industry, what would it be and why? So I think one of the, the things that needs to be explored and, and developed ideally is um, a truck lane. Um, we've tried bus lane, um, it worked in various degrees in the cities, but on motorways, if we could free up a lane for trucks, it would also free up the other lanes for the other uh, passenger vehicles. Um, and that should, in theory, smooth the flow of traffic, would make things um, smoother to run, and could be a precursor to setting the environment for autonomous vehicles. If you could swap bodies with someone for the day, this is a very strange question, who would it be and why, and what would you do as them? I think I'd have to go back in time um, to uh, the founder of our, our group, uh, Giovanni Annelli. Uh, he was the patriarch of uh, the whole group from Theat 500 in its original form right through to the fastest and most luxurious Ferraris, but also uh, the agricultural, the construction, and our own Eveco product um, group. So I think um, he did a fantastic number of things. He was driven, absolute brilliant guy. Um, if I was to change something or do something slightly different, I think in the 30s when they had gas vehicles, uh, that's something that maybe should have been pursued a little bit further so that today we'd had gas vehicles that had been on the road for 30, 40, 50 years or more. Um, so I think that, that could be the thing that if I was in that, that time with 2020 vision, hindsight, I could say that's what I would have done. You said yourselves that your large vans like the 7 ton daily are increasing in sales and taking share away from 7.5 ton trucks. How long do you think light trucks have left and are they becoming more irrelevant? So Yes, I think, um, I think there is something in that. Although interestingly, the 7.5 tonne uh, to 16 tonne market has grown in the last two years. But we definitely see a lot more interest in the, um, the truck-based, uh, Eurocargo-based uh, trucks at 10 and 12 tonne. Particularly at 12 tonne, where it can have the same footprint as a 7.5 tonne. So why wouldn't you take the extra payload? The issue's been about the driver licence, um, but as time goes on, there's fewer and fewer people who've got the benefit of that driving licence, and the operators are quite eager to have well-trained, properly uh, licensed uh, drivers for that. So that's the way we see things going. Why have you called your new used truck operation OK Trucks? Why not excellent trucks or brilliant trucks? So, firstly, they are excellent and they are brilliant trucks, um, but the OK Truck brand is actually our global brand for pre-owned uh, high-quality vehicles. So, we needed a branding that would be globally recognised, um, and some of the local uh, versions of what we would call something wouldn't work in other markets. So, we're going for a, a prestige, high-level truck offering with the OK Truck brand. Something that was lost in translation then, maybe? <laughs> Probably um, something that was easier to be recognised globally, um, because the OK sign is uh, recognised as everything's good. <laughs>